Welcome to another edition of Green is Good Radio, and we're so lucky to have with us today James Wolf. He's a partner, network manager of Go Sun Stove. Thank you, John. Thanks Welcome so much. to Green is Good. Good morning. I appreciate it. And this is our first time we're ever taping Green is Good in, in a video format. So the nice right? thing is All right. we've got, this is the whole purpose, we've got your, your Go Sun Stove right in front of us. That's and right. Be, and before we get talking about <laughs> this, I want to talk about you, though, James. Sure. Talk a little bit about the James Wolf story. Talk a little bit about your journey leading up to having this really cool position with Ghost on Stove. Yeah, sure. So my background's a bit mixed. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty entrepreneurial and uh, I joined the team to help launch the Kickstarter. So we had a, a pretty awesome campaign on Kickstarter. We were able to raise over $200,000. When was that? When uh, did that That was start? about 12 months ago. Wow, so yeah. you were part of the Kickstarter team. That's right, yeah. Ground zero. That's right. <laughs> so was that, when you guys were doing that, was that a, a scary process for you, or you, you had done Kickstarters before? Uh, no, we hadn't done any Kickstarters yet, surprisingly. And, um, it was pretty cool. We had, you know, probably 12 months of uh, of preparation involved before we even launched it. Wow. So you know, looking at different Kickstarters that were successful and what they did, and and um, you know, uh, Kickstarter failures and what they did, and try to avoid that and, and so on. So. So you actually made a science of it. You studied what, right. what worked yeah. and you studied what didn't and then you went with it. That's right, that's right. Wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So 12 months ago, you launched a Kickstarter campaign uh -huh. and then what was your goal when you launched it? Uh, so our goal was 40,000 and we ended up raising over 200,000. So we blew it up, you know, Whole totally. five times what <laughs> your goal right. was. That's right. Holy Toledo, that's great. Yeah. And how long did that take? Um, the campaign itself, I believe, was about a 45 day period. 45 days. That's right. Good for you. Yep, that the um, the Kickstarter community is such a great community. You know, they they pretty much put us in business. You know, took our prototype and commercialized it, and uh, you know now we're in full production mode. Well, obviously you've done a lot of good homework leading up to that point. You know, right. for the 12 months prior right. to, to five times exceed your goal. That's mm. that's amazing. Okay, so keep going with your story. Yeah. So, um, you know, the Kickstarter campaign was so exciting, and and um, you know. Uh, the, the real um, goal of strategy is to come out of the gates strong. So, you know, the first day you have to get about 30% of your goal in the first 24 hours. Wow. And then Kickstarter will show you on their homepage and uh, show you to lots of their community. That's awesome. That's it. So if you, if, you get all, if you stumble out of the starting gate, right. it typically doesn't go well after that's that. Right. Yeah, that's but right. But if you get a strong start and you're, then you're in the hunt, you got a shot then. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Good for you guys. Thank you. So now you raise the money. That's right. What happens? And I guess it's the beginning of a whole new start. You know, yeah. the, the, the gun shoots off again. And it's a whole new start of yeah, the race. It's been uh, pretty crazy so far. It's been a you know, pretty intense journey. And, um, you know, once we were able to raise the funds, then it took us a little bit longer than we had hoped for and, and expected. Um, but it took us about six months to get from prototype stage to production mode. Got it. And who, you know, before you did the Kickstarter, who had even come up with the original idea? Sure. Um, uh, it's a gentleman, his name is Patrick Sherwin. And Patrick's been a, a solar engineer for about 15 or 20 years. And, you know, he was on a rooftop uh, working on a solar thermal water heating application. And, uh, you know, he was hungry. And he decided to put uh, some sausages or something into one of these tubes. And uh, he cooked it up. And he's sitting there on the roof and eating this, you know, eating his lunch. And he's, just thinks to himself, man, I should really create a solar cooker. So it's a pretty interesting uh, story, the way that it got started. Just so. basically born out of necessity. That's right, <laughs> yeah. A that's hungry right. guy on a roof, <laughs> hungry <guy>. working. <laughs> that's right. How did you meet him? Um, so Patrick and I connected um, about a, a year before the Kickstarter, and uh, we're both Cincinnati guys. And uh, I also own a, a web marketing agency in the Cincinnati area. So, you know, he had told me about this prototype and showed it to me. And, we um, cooked a few, uh, you know, meals under the sun, and and uh, it just seemed like a good way to, you know, kind of work each other's um, strengths and weaknesses and Got join it. a team. So that's great. Yeah. Well, you know, were, were you were you raised uh, particularly in a green household or sustainable household, or is this something you? Where was where was your big tipping sure. point or epiphany <laughs> uh, in terms of doing something that really has? A great and sustainable bottom line besides a profit bottom line too. Yeah sure so I, I guess I wasn't really raised um, you know green household per se but um, uh, you know, going through uh, school and, and learning about different opportunities and, and trends and, and then you know I was, 
just right outside of college, I, I had launched a, a green cleaning business and it, and it didn't go quite as great as I had hoped to <laughs> hope for, but I learned a whole lot and learned a lot about the, the, the market. And um, That's the process of being an that's entre right. <laughs> yeah. entrepreneur. That's right. You learn as you go and you learn from all your mistakes even more than your successes. That's, that's right. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, we, we're so lucky that we're so thankful you brought the, the Go Sun stove here in front of us mm. here. How does the technology work? Can you? We're here right now. Can you explain yeah. this wonderful piece of technology? Yeah, I sure can. So um, the gist of it is that you're combining this evacuated vacuum tube. It, this is typically used for solar thermal water heating applications. You know, typically you'll put 15 or 20, uh, maybe 30 of these on top of a roof. Um, you run a pipe through the middle, pump water through, and naturally, you know, solar power uh, heat up your water for showers and so on. So we took this existing type of technology and we built this design around it. This reflector, the profile is very key to the, to the uh, efficiency. So, you know, standard solar uh, photovoltaic system, solar panel, you know, anywhere between 15 and 20% of efficient. This system right here is 80% efficient. So um, basically anywhere the sun is in the sky, it could be just rising or up at 12 noon. It's gonna hit somewhere along this reflector and no matter where it hits, it's always gonna be directed towards the center of the, the tube. So it's wow. able to heat up very quick and, and very high temperatures. Okay, so you raise the money, you go to prototype. <laughs> How long did it take you to develop what we have in front of us right here? Sure, so the prototype was um, you know, f fully um, functional. Uh, so the, the key was to become more, more aesthetic and, and visually appealing and um, you know, sleeker and cooler and more lightweight, more portable. It took about six months to get from that Six prototype months. to pr production, yeah. And then when did you start making your first sales? Yeah, so our first sales were Kickstarter. You know, that was a, right. a, a great way to, right. to kind of get started and right. get going. But since then, we've, we've uh, sold between 1,500 and 2,000 units. And, you know, we've only had the production model for about six months. So. Wow. So, you know, how many, first of all, let's talk about the greater good it does. Sure, sure. What's the problem sure. with cooking around the world now the way it's done, and what is, does this fill the void on and, and answer and, and help so much in so many ways besides right, right. environment? Sure, that's a really good question, John. Um, you know, most people don't realize that there's a billion people in the world that are still cooking over an open flame and wow. indoors and using all types of, you know, really dirty fuel source. Um, anything from, you know, going out and knocking down trees for, for, for wood to burn, but also, you know, even human waste, you know, use that to cook. Wow. You're cooking indoors, and you know it's um, uh, mostly. Uh, you know, we did we did a pilot program down in Guatemala. We were able to uh, team up with the Global Alliance of Clean Cook Stoves. Right. It's an organization that's funded through the United Nations. Got it. And so they gave us a, a nice grant, and we were able to go down to Guatemala and uh, you know work with these people in, in these emerging communities. And it's a big problem. It's smoke inhalation is a is a huge leading cause of death and illness and, and disease, you know, worldwide. Wow. So. so this is this right here solves the whole issue of, right. of uh, unnecessary pollution in the air, unnecessary deaths from smoke inhalation, right. and also sort of unhealthy things being done. Also, the issue of just chopping down our forests and the issue of firewood exactly. making exactly. these fires. Yeah, that's right. And the waste of time besides the deforestation that does. Sure, definitely. This is the answer right here in this front of us. This is the answer, that's right. Holy, and for our <laughs> listeners out there, um, to get this wonderful Go Sun Stove, you can go to gosunstove.com, gosunstove.com. James, this looks so space age, and this, <laughs> today's the first day I've ever really seen it sure. in person. What can you cook in this and how much can you cook and how long does it take? Yeah, good question. So um, you actually put the food inside the stainless steel tray. Um, it's a bit deceiving because it's quite narrow. Wow. Uh, but also it's pretty deep and quite long. So you can fit up between two to three pounds worth of food inside of this. Um, so basically you, you chop up your food, you slice and dice, you throw it down inside the tube and you can really pack it down in there. You can use a spoon to kind of push it in while you pull out, put some more food and push it in while you pull up. And then you, this is a food grade silicone seal here. So you, so you uh, push that in and, and uh, it seals the end and it keeps the heat trapped inside. So you're able to reach temperatures of upwards of 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. You know, nothing but the sun. There's no charcoal, no, no uh, gas, no propane, no, no wood. 
no electricity, you know, there's no on off switch. So right now it's in on mode and you can then collapse it up and fold it up. The, the legs become the handle, you take it with you. Weighs about six and a half, seven pounds. And how so. much does this model cost that we have here in front of us? Sure, so the retail price is $299. $299. Um, we, uh, you know, typically run different sales on our website and, and so on. So. And is it only being sold on the website right now? Uh, we've got we've got between eighty and ninety partners uh, on a global level. That's you know, a great. lot of them are individual uh, men and women who are who are repping and dealers and so on. And you know, we've got some other big uh, e-commerce sites that we you know, just started to partner with. So, so let's go go back to this. So, it's sure. goes, so. You put the food in there, how sure. long does it typically take? Give something that you could cook in there. Give yeah, a sure, couple sure, of typical sure. things in the, in the length of time it takes to cook in there. Sure, so it's very similar to that of a conventional oven. So uh, you know, same, same uh, time frame, uh, about the same cooking temperature. So just like with a conventional oven, if you, you, know, if you put, um, uh, you know, it, it all depends on what you put into the oven. Um, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, basically, you can you can cook anything you want under the sun. So it's <laughs> and do, do people start, um, in, do you interact with a lot of your clients around the world and they email you recipes and things that they're cooking yeah. in the Go Sun uh, stove? Yeah, that's right. So we have a Facebook group. It's called the Go Sun Community Kitchen. And right. it's really a great um, area where, you know, a lot of our uh, members and, and community can post up pictures of, all, of, the, of the food that they cook and recipes and so on. So it's... You know, this nice seem, spot. you know, James, this seems to be an emerging um, form of cooking. Mm. How many competitors does the Go Sun stove have and sure. that you're facing on a regular basis? Yeah, that's, that's another good question, John. Um, you know, there's uh, a few other manufacturers that, that are making different types of solar ovens. Um, you know, they uh, typically either a box cooker. Uh, those are kind of large and a bit cumbersome. Uh, but they're great, you know, and uh, there's also a type of bar parabolic dish cookers, which kind of look like a, you know, big uh, TV dish or something like right. that. So. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, is there a leading brand right now or are you the leading brand right now? You know, this type of solar cooker, I'd say we're the leading brand. It's, a, you know, the newest type of tubular solar cooking. It's um, uh, much more efficient than our competitors. Got it. So now let's have a little fun. You and sure. I are out um, <laughs> camping somewhere. Okay. And we've yeah. brought this wonderful Go Sun stove with us. That's right, yeah. But it's a cloudy day. Sure. What are we going to eat? Sure. So on a cloudy day, it actually still works. So like I mentioned earlier, this is an 80% efficient. Wow. Um, so, you know, it takes a little bit longer on a cloudy day. You might want to increase your cook time by, you know, two or three times. Um, but we're not going hungry. You're, we're not going hungry. That's right. Yeah. That, that <laughs> is, that is uh, great. Um, you know, for... People who want to become part of the Go Sun Stove movement. Sure. How do people work with you guys in terms of becoming a dealer or a rep somewhere in the United States or around the world? Since Green is Good Radio is heard around the world, yeah. you don't know where you're going to get contacted from. That's right, yeah. Uh, you will get contacted <laughs> from many people around the world who are loyal listeners. W what's the process look like? Yeah, so that's great, um, John. I, you know, we'd love to connect with anyone throughout the world that's uh, looking to you know, help to rep our products and, and put it in the hands of people who really enjoy and can benefit from its, uh, from its uh, functionalities. And so basically just go to our website, there's a contact us tab, um, or you can email us at support at gosunstove.com and uh, we'd, we'd love to work with you. James, where's your offices out of? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're a small team, we've got four full-time guys on board and um, we're based out of an old, you know, 100-year-old house in Cincinnati. So. Wow. It's a mid, good old Midwest. Isn't that great? Yep. And, it's, and you know, you don't hear Cincinnati, you know, with, yeah. you, know, you know, like Silicon Alley in sure, New sure, York sure. or, yeah, sure. or uh, <laughs> you know, Silicon Valley in California. That's right. Yeah. So the nice thing is right here in the, in the middle of the country, That's right. you get to do a really cool, high tech, very important, sustainably minded uh, business model. That's right. Yep. We're, we're very proud to represent uh, Cincinnati and you know, be able to get this technology throughout the world. And to be so. a great inspiration for other young people who really want to not only make a profit and sure. make a nice living, but they want to change the world every yep, day. That's right. Yes. That's wonderful. Any, any um, suggestions or thoughts? Is a, we have a large following, James, okay. of millennials out there. And obviously sure, sure. you're tied to the millennial um, generation because of 
your marketing company, uh -huh, sure. online marketing company. Yeah. Um, what kind of suggestions can you have uh, to, for our listeners out there and our viewers now yeah. that want to really make a difference? They just don't want to go work for a corporation anymore that's been around 50 years or sure. 100 years. <laughs> they really want to be like you. They okay. want to be an entrepreneur, an ecopreneur. Sure, yeah, I'd say the, you know, the, the biggest thing is to just get out there and make it happen. You know, there's a lot of people who talk and, and don't do much. And so um, I'd say, you know, for, forget about wasting hours and, and weeks and months on a business plan. Kind of put together a quick, lean, uh, you know, uh, a plan, a one pager, if you will, and, and look at your competitors in the market and, and look to satisfy a need and, and just, you know, get it done. Make, make some sales and help people. And, and since you've lived it, James, sure. it's really true that. 20 years ago, when I would meet with other young people, hmm. they would say, I got a great idea, but I don't have money. Yeah. Money's not the gating issue now, because as sure. you've proven, <laughs> yeah, that's right. if you have a great idea and you do your homework, yeah. you can raise the, all the money you need to launch right online. Yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, crowd, crowdfunding uh, communities are a great way to, to launch a new product or new service. So, Have other people come to you, Viral Wolf, um, you know, since you've, launched successfully five times yep, your goal yep. launch the go sun stove and said i want here's my great business idea do this for me help me do this on kickstarter as well yeah we've got a few other um, products and, and services in the works and so um you know uh both uh, the web my web marketing agency and also our team at go sun we you know we're able to offer guidance and help uh uh, to other you know, teams that are looking to start with Kickstarter. So we definitely love to connect with anyone that's, that's looking to launch on there. When, you, when the four of you get together and you have your weekly powwow sure. session on yeah. where the Go Sun Stove can go, yeah. how, what's, the, what's the future look like? What's, when you map out the next two or three years, how right, big can right. this product be, this great, wonderful product? Yeah, I mean, our, our main goal is to put this type of clean cooking technology into the hands of millions of people throughout the world. And we think that there's you know, huge markets uh, everywhere from you know, uh, Central America, where we're at now, uh, to parts of Africa, parts of Asia, and so on. So we think that the you know sky's the limit with this type of technology. Are, are any of the big boxes going to carry this? You think, or do you have, are those discussions ongoing? Um, yeah, you know, we kind of want to stay away from the big box stores at first, uh, just because this technology is so innovative and so unique that it takes, um, you know, it really takes a, a lot of educational uh, time and efforts to to teach people on how to use this, but. You know, I think that eventually down the road, the big box stores will work together with us and, uh, you know, be able to put it on their shelves and so on. But are these made uh, domestically or are they made abroad? Uh, so we do uh, some assembly in Cincinnati, but uh, unfortunately, we'll, you know, we have to outsource some of the um, materials and so on. You know, there's only a few manufacturers who are making this type of tube and then, you know, we're able to assemble and uh, put together a lot of the rest of the design. Well, James. Uh any final words before we uh, say goodbye to our uh, loyal viewers and listeners today at Green is Good? Yeah, I, I just, um, I, I'd like to thank you, John. Thanks so much for uh, the invite. My and, and thanks, guys. Uh, the community with Green is Good radio show seems like a, a really great uh, you know, group of people. So love to connect. James Wolf of Go Sun Stove. To buy your Go Sun Stove, go to www.gosunstove.com, www.gosunstove.com. We're coming from the Green Festival here in Chicago, Illinois, and we've got the Go Sun Stove here. We thank you for watching today. James, thank you for being here today. You, we wish you all the luck. For our entrepreneurs out there, Viral Wolf, you want to do a Kickstarter campaign? James Wolf, Viral Wolf, go to him. Do your next Kickstarter campaign. Change the world like they're doing with Go Sun Stove. Thanks, James. Thanks, Sean.